This video discusses preparation of voting machines for elections in New York State. The process starts in the EMS room, where two people use computers to set up the races and candidates for each voting district at each voting precinct. The two workers are differing political parties and work together or check each other's work to ensure neither side is rigging the election. This technique is used throughout elections and is called a bipartisan team. Once configured, the races are written to memory cards similar to thumb drives or SD cards. These cards are then installed in the voting machines. So what Mike's doing now is Mike is uh, getting the cards that we saw in the EMS room. He's going to be putting them in the machine because sometimes these cards, the first time it's a new election on there and the first time it runs, it takes a while to load up. So instead of us doing it in there, Mike gets everything started here. Some of these machines could have as much as 10 districts on them. And the more districts on them, the longer it takes to load. So like this one's a big one right here. You can see how many districts that has. So five machines and he'll set up the other he'll set up the other scanners there making sure the correct cards go in the correct machine by the header so he's going to match all this up and then he's, he'll make sure that the key to open and close the machine is the correct key too so this is what the inspectors see in the morning yellow key which i'm testing first machine number five this is um what the inspectors would get in the morning. And then this black key right here is what technicians would get. So there's a second set. Now another thing he's doing too is when that machine starts up, he's, he's verifying the time and date are correct. Seeing that we will be uh, uh, falling back for daylight savings, Mike's gonna set the time an hour behind. And then from this point, all the election files are getting loaded. So this takes a little bit right now on the initial boot up, but on election day, it'll go much quicker since the new set of cards takes a little bit longer. So from here, we're just waiting for this machine to basically load. After the machines have finished initializing, they are shut down again and lined up to await testing. That's Matt and Jakai, and they're gonna work, they're obviously, they're working bipartisanly, okay? Now what they've done is they grab machines out there Okay, they got machine four. And what machine do you have, Jakai? Oh. And they got the correct ballots they needed. Um, so these are just test ballots. It's a random program that the state does. And they put random votes on there. And what's the, what these guys are going to do is they're going to open the machine. They're going to run a diagnostics test on the machine to make sure that it's operating correctly. And then they're going to test those ballots. They're going to close the poll, um, and then they re-zero their machine so it's ready to go for the election. And then they they test their the ballots they tested against an answer key to make sure what they put through the machine was read correctly. You ready? Yep. You should have Harris Dem 1, mm -hmm. Harris Working 1, yep. Vance Rep 2, okay. Vance Con 1, 2 right in. Yep. City Court Judge, Geraci, Dem, three, mm -hmm. with one right in. Yep. And then on the prop, you should have two yes, two no. Yes. So what would happen if the machine's count of test ballots didn't match the expected results? Okay, and if that situation was to happen, Matt would clean the machine to see if it was uh, maybe just had some dust or, you know, from sitting and not being used. But in fact, if that wouldn't read in all four directions here we're going to fail this machine and we're going to bring a new one in you know we're not going to send that out knowing that it wasn't working you know we're looking for everything to be running tip-top shape after testing the crew secures the memory card compartment with a tamper evident seal and records the unique seal number used other similar seals are also applied and recorded before leaving the room, the crew loads additional items needed for election day. They look at a sheet and it'll tell them um, how many iPads they have at their site and that'll tell them how many extension cords to put in the machines and then they'll also put the, uh, or the tabletop privacy will also go in into the machines. 
Previously, a sea of blue ballot bags was prepared with materials for election day. A bag goes in every machine. The only thing we're missing here right now are, are the election day ballots because our election day ballots haven't come yet. Those will go in the green bag and the green bags go in here. So that's still a process that we have to do. But everything else is already in here. It's our uh, machine specific and then your generic supplies too. Once the ballots have been printed, they will be placed in the correct blue bag, which is then locked inside a voting machine. The day before elections, the machines are delivered to the polling places. On election day, these supplies will be used by on-site poll workers, while the blue bags are locked inside the machines to collect the ballots cast during the day. All of this is watched over by bipartisan teams. This video is a companion to my prior video, which discusses election security during and after elections. If you haven't seen that yet, you should probably check that out next. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed learning something.